in the last part of this video what I want to do is something new so you know how we had WhisperX in its own virtual environment and we are inside the temp folder that had the Python code I want to try something new I want to try a different model I don't want just the tiny small large and these kind of models I want to be able to go to hug and face for example like I want to use one of the distilled whisper models because there's still like it's a different version that they say six times faster 49 percent smaller so i'm really interested in bringing one of these plugging it with whisper x and trying it to see if it's gonna make any difference in terms of the performance so what i need specifically let's say for example the distill small so this is the model name i'm going to copy it because we are using transformers within the whisper x can I assume that I can just run this code? Instead of medium.en, let's say distill whisper slash distill small.en, would that run? So we head back to the command line. We say python m call whisper x. Let's see if this is going to work. So the short answer is that we were not able to run that distilled whisper over here. So what is happening over here? It says error while finding module specification for call whisper x dot pi module not found. Okay. So it tried to find the model specific model that I've specified. It doesn't know where is this coming from? What is it? So if I go back to the um, hug and face website, and this is the distill okay let's go back to the distilled domain let's say for example the medium.en that i was just trying to test or benchmark across the different models what if i want to convert this into something that whisper x can actually read what do i do what is the command so you remember we said the c translate um library could actually run this so is there a command over here no there isn't but if I go back there and I say, oh, just whisper actually by itself. Okay, um, there is the Sistran whisper version. So these models from Sistran, they are the faster whisper version of the model. And say the model can be used in C Translate 2. So what they have done, if you read, go down. They say they convert the original models into something that they were able to run with faster, faster whisper, okay? Because they have used C Translate 2. Well, I'm using C Translate 2 as well for my whisper X. Can I bring any, for example, the still whisper model and run this command on it? Let's try. So what I did over here, I said C2, C Translate 2 Transformers Converter. I'm going to convert, so dash dash model, going to convert distill whisper, distill medium dot English. I'm going to call it distill medium dot English. And this is in my cache, my own laptop cache. Enter. So because I've already converted this, it says output directory, it already exists. If you wanna rewrite on it, so you can say dash dash force. It tells you here to use dash dash force to override. And now it says I probably can. So what I'm going to do, copy this new model name that we have just created. Okay. And probably put it here, distill medium.english. Can I run this version now? Because it's C translate to convert it. Bring my code again. It's going through. So now my model can understand or oh, has a new model, language model that we brought. Basically, it's the medium.english, the still medium.english that we have just created. And we are going to transcribe the same audio file. We were getting around 40 something seconds time for transcription. 
But now let's see how much time will it take us with the distill version, because they say the distill is like 40 something times smaller. There you go, 31 seconds. Okay, again, to repeat the process, make sure we are not doing something wrong. We tried to bring a model, which was the distill small, okay? If you just run the code as it is on the distill small, we didn't convert distill small. So my model or my code should give an error saying, I can't see where this is coming from. There you go, say unable to open file model.bin because there was nothing in my cache in the hug and face that says I have distill small. So if you want to really try that model, you have to convert it yourself using C translate to transformers converter. So over here, I'm going to say this should be called small distill small dot English. And I'm bringing it from the distill small dot English from hug and face from this folder. Convert this on your machine and you should be able to run it then. See how it started to download stuff and it will convert it by using the C translate to library. So now we have a new set of models that are the C translate to equivalent of the distill whisper. Bringing more stuff from the internet, downloading, everything is good now. So I can call this, what did we call it? I think we just called it distill something. So yeah, distill small dot English. That's what we called it. Copy, put it over here. Go run your code again. And let's see how much time. So the distill medium now took us 31 seconds to translate the 42 minutes and 55 seconds. Remember, I'm running this on Whisper X. So now Whisper X can compete with C Translate, uh, sorry, with the insanely fast Whisper benchmark that we were running. Okay, so on the medium, this still took us 31 seconds. On the small distill version, took us 18. Okay, if you want to bring the insanely fast whisper, dash dash file name is c colon slash temp slash rocket. And then dash dash model name open AI slash whisper um, let's say the medium first dot English insanely fast whisper is not recognized oh because I spelled it wrong whisper okay so our medium gave us 31 seconds and our small took 18 seconds. Let's try the insanely fast whisper and finish this video. So in this run of insanely fast whisper using the medium English, it took 36 seconds while we were doing 31 seconds. So our whisper X now is competing with insanely fast whisper. We run another test and this time we use the small And the small version is taken 19 seconds, while our whisper X with still small that we converted using C translate to took 18.6 seconds. So by using C translate to on the distilled versions and linking that with whisper X, we were able to, let's say, create our insane version of whisper X as well. That's competing with the insanely fast whisper. So everything you need is there. You just need to read what's in between the lines. So when it says like model conversion using C translate to, and then you can find the same thing on the GitHub repo of Wispex, you have to connect the dots. And this is how research should be done. So I hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much.